Hello and welcome to It's Your Time to Soar. This is your first time tuning in, know to inspire, motivate, and impact. Welcome back, Soar Nation. On the episode today, I have an awesome gentleman with me today. His name is Dyson Knight. He is an Elevation uh, Award award winner man, from uh, 2017. He's been, he's, been, he's been doing it. He's been racking it up. He's been pushing. He's passionate about what he does. But listen, I'm going to let Mr. Knight tell all of you what he's all about. Dyson, are you ready to take flight? Yeah, let's go, man. Let's go. Thank you for having me. Pleasure Definitely. Anytime. Anytime. So, for all of, all of us in Saw Nation, who doesn't know who Dyson Knight is? Can you can you give them just a brief bio of... Well, I am... Um, you all about? Yeah, I'll make it brief. <laughs> I'm an international recording artist, a songwriter. I perform as Dyson Knight. I um, also perform with Mutual band, Versace, and also the international uh, Grammy Award winning band, Bahamian. Yes. Um, recently, we, Bahamian has released a single this year, it's called Let's Go. Right, right, right. So, I mean, how did you, how did you, uh, like, when was, when, when was it that, that you actually realized that, that hey, uh, I could sing or, you know, I, I wanted to perform or what, what, what actually happened? Um, I think for a lot of us, music kind of chooses you, and entertainment kind of chooses you. And, and I say that because not everyone, everyone wants to be a superstar, right. but, but the work and the dedication mm-hmm. that goes into it to actually have you become a household name, right. um, like I've been, been able to accomplish here in the Bahamas, right. um, it takes a lot more than what people see. What people see is the end result. They see right. the, the, the the show, um, right. the stage performance. Mm. That's that's the fun part of it. Right. That has nothing to do with the work. It's as a as a very deep, long, and hard journey to get to the stage, and also to have yourself credited after you come off the stage. Right. But the creative process, and then the planning process, right. and then the execution. Right. You know, and and being able to get all that tied into one, and then right. the aftermath of that. The, the promoting what it is that you did, you know, of, of doing your market research to know who it is you're performing for, what it is you want to perform for, who it is you're performing for. It's a, it's a lot that goes into being a successful entertainer right. and, and, and especially um, a Bahamian successful entertainer. Yeah, that's uh, that, that's, that's relative. Yeah. That's <laughs> yeah. That's relative. So, so, on, so um, let me ask you a question, right? Just, just a straight on that same point. Now you you have been doing this for twenty years now. Twenty years compared to what's going on now, it's, it's kind of it's kind of it's kind of different. Yeah. Better, but what I'm trying to say is that how, how did you cross over from that because that 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 that, that day and age was hard. It's yeah. a more easy now because you could because you have more access yeah. to, to to the market mm-hmm. voices later later early on because you always had to go through a label. Mm-hmm. I mean, but now but now you have more access to 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 the uh, the audience to the market. You know, to the to, to a greater to the, market, right? To the listener. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, but everyone has that access, right? And so, so that's 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 the challenge. Right. Um, there's a whole lot of noise in, in the market now. Yeah. But, um, anyone can uh, one create music, mm-hmm. you know, and then anyone can promote music. Right. So it, it's still a matter of dollars and cents right. uh, that really determines how far your music is going to reach mm-hmm. initially. Until it gains legs of its own right. popularity and starts to spread by word of mouth. Right. Um, um, so yes, it is easier to get your, your work on display, but it's harder to get people to see it. Right. Uh, vision. What, what is your vision? Because you mentioned your massage, uh, Bahamian. Then you have your own personal brand. What, what, what is what is your vision? Because because you because you, you said something earlier that that uh, you know. There's a lot of work and stuff goes goes behind what what all of you guys do, and you know you, you, you need a driving force to keep going. Because I'm sure some days you wake up with your bed, you might go to your eyes and just the day. You know. But like, what 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 uh, what um drives you? What what, what 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 can you share with Soul Nation? Your uh, your uh, vision statement of or uh, what you or what what it is that you do? Well, I have an I have an overall goal. Right. And my overall goal is is not um, a, a, a price amount. Right. You know. It, my overall goal is something that I get reinforcement from daily. My, my overall goal is to be remembered. Right. 
because that I think being in front of mind, being being a, a, the person that's talked about, mm -hmm. um, people knowing who you are, right. speaks. Um, it opens doors. Right. It opens doors. It opens doors to the point where, as a lot of times, I don't need money. Mm. You know what I mean? Right. I, I, I'm six days away from traveling to Germany for the first time, and it's, nice. it's not costing me a dollar from out of my pocket. Right. The Bahamian will be performing in Germany, and that all goes through the hard work that we all as a team right. put into maintaining the brand. Right. Um, that has lasted so long to this day right. uh, as, as Bahamian. Right. And, and that is something that I do with all, all of my camps. You right. know, with the Visage camp, with the Bahamian camp, with Dyson Knight, with Wendy. Right. Um, we want to be remembered. We want people to say, if, if, if people land in the Bahamas and they say, you know, we're looking for Bahamian entertainment, we want to be front of mind. Hey, these are the guys we need to right. You know? right. and, and then if I walk to the food store, I feel like, hey, I'm here nice and nice, right? I get, I get it done. And yeah. that would that encouraged me to, to continue. To continue on my food. Yeah, it, it is definitely encouragement because people can see that you're, you're doing work and that right. people have, have a respect for you just by asking you, aren't you so-and-so? Mm -hmm. you no, know, that's that's a level of respect. Um, during the time when when you were uh, singing music, and now, and now, and now, kids came and came to the picture. How, how did that affect what, what you, what, what, uh, what you had going on? Well, the first thing I can say about that is that you, you're the only person that, that sees your vision the right. way, the way you want it to pan out. Right. You know, um, I have never, ever, ever in all my days growing up until I became a man heard any of my parents say to me that music and entertainment was a, a career choice that I should really be serious about. Mm -hmm. um, so when you have that huge responsibility of children coming in, into play, you have to really be, you know, you gotta broaden your shoulders yeah. and you're gonna say you're gonna commit to entertainment. Um, and, and, and truth and honesty, it took me a while to, to leave my day job. I spent, um, um, because, because there is financial responsibility. Right. Come back to that when it comes to parenting in a second. Um, but I stopped and I worked in entertainment full time for two years, and then I went back to another job. I right. spent another two years there, and right. I decided, like, you know what? I was doing okay. Right. Let me put a bit more mm -hmm. in, in, into me right. and see if I can do it. And now I've been doing entertainment uh, full time for since 2010. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. Nine years. Yeah. And, and, and it's it's been growth for me and every now and again I sit back um, because I get my, my time soon when I feel a bit discouraged and right, I, yeah. I have to count yeah. my blessings yeah. and to see you know what I don't yeah. want to buy you know I, I have my I just did my third um, annual TK Nation event whereas I promoted my very own event right. and I think that is a, a, a success story in itself for me right. um, apart from the from my music and my entertainment but as a father um there is, um, there really and truly is no balance. And, and now that I have a new four month old now, baby, right. you know, with Wendy, when this is Wendy's first, right. um, I, I tell her all the time, you know, throw your plans to the side a little bit. Mm -hmm. Because you can plan to wake up at 8 o'clock in the morning, mm -hmm. in the morning, take the baby to, to the nursery, um, go to the gym, do this and do this, that, that, that. Right. And when you wake up in the morning, she has a She's she's hungry. She's cranky. Right. She she she's she's spitting up. She's doing this. Right. She's 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 doing. You just can't get it together. Right. You have to be able to constantly reorganize your priorities as a parent. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Always. You understand what I'm saying? You have to Always. constantly reorganize. Right. And, and once you realize that um, your job as a as a parent, though it may be forever, it mm -hmm. will it will not always um, contain the same level of responsibility. Right. There's gonna come a time when the children will be, I got it, daddy, let me do it. I wanna right. do it on my own. Right. So, to the point where I say, daddy, let me, let me use the, daddy, let me use these keys, I won't go to the food store and use the car. You know, right. so, right. so, so, so <laughs> there's, yeah, there's a, there's a time on it, you know? Right. Um, um, so, so, so you have to, to really um, be able to enjoy 
those difficult moments. Right. When 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 they when they're crying non-stop. Because when that crying stops, it starts the talking. Daddy, I don't want this. Daddy, I'm upset about this because I want something. You better enjoy every stage right. of, of, of of parenthood. Right. You know what I mean? And, and when you when you realize that, it 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 makes it easier for you to say, I won't get to this today. Right. Uh, let me put it on uh, on the schedule for tomorrow. I mean, you do as much as you possibly can. Right. Because. When you take care of your children, I, know, I believe this with all my heart. When you when you put that type of focus into your into your children, into your responsibility as a parent, God got your back. Yeah, you know what I mean. Oh, yeah. and, and and God is is mm -hmm. is will bring everyone to your aid. Yeah, man. You know, you know, I grew up in church. We're, we're, we're all from I mean, I was so sad <laughs> No, yeah. that's that's real. You know, I told I I. Um, just a couple of years ago, I, I um, spoke, spoke to a poet of mine, and I told him that once, once, once God sees you as a man, we, we, because we are, we are talking about, uh, we talking about Father. Once you as a man take, take your responsibilities, mm -hmm. but God is gonna make sure you have the resources to take care of your children because He don't want to see, don't see the seed the bread. You don't want that. I don't want that. You don't yeah. want that. You yeah. open up the doors. Yeah. You open up the doors because. He, one thing, this is just of God loves children. Mm -hmm. You yep. understand? Yeah, yeah, I understand that. Totally. He loves them? Totally. So if you don't see yourself blessed, if you do what he see you doing all you could, spend your last what you gotta do, trust me, all kinds of doors open up, pay for the same, just open right up. You as an entertainer, your wife is an entertainer as well, artists, I don't want to call you entertainers. I mean, you all, you all, yeah. you're, you're definitely upstairs present now, you all don't play yeah. around, you all, yeah. you all aren't just persons who be by the mic and right. just do no, right. you all this way, you know, right. you jump in, you're doing all these yeah. things. You know? We are artists that double as entertainers, yeah. You, you got it. You, you got I, it. Watch, watch I say, they don't play around. You got it though. So, we what happens, so, <laughs> what actually happens now, when, it, when because uh, now, you, you, you know, you, you was, you know, you, you being the father, right? You're not, you're not, you're not going through a postpartum and, and you know, the wife usually has to take care of the, the you know, I, I don't know if, I don't know if she breastfeeds or what, 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 she, what she does. She, she does. does. She does yeah. breastfeed. So ask me is that maybe has to stay with her more thing. Right. right. I'm experiencing yeah. the very same thing. You know, I'm mean, seeing, seeing you do more than what she can do at, at this point in time. Mm -hmm. You know, how are y'all communicating so that, so that, so that, so that she can see that, hey, this season of her life, this is important as well. This yeah, is this is important absolutely. season, and she not watching you to say, "Hey, if this man didn't get me big up, <laughs> <You're right. laughs> I'd been doing the same thing." Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I mean, so 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 so, uh, has there been any any issues for you? Uh, well, I can speak for myself. I mean, there's there's been some frustrations, right? Uh, obviously, um, um, natural frustrations, right? And there's some things about it that I don't quite understand. There's yep. some things about it that she doesn't quite understand. Yeah. Um, uh, we were just talking about this uh, yesterday, I believe, on the point of, of breastfeeding. Yeah. You know, I really appreciate um, experiencing, watching her breastfeed mm -hmm. and understanding what it requires. Yeah. Because breastfeeding isn't just, oh, the baby goes to the breast and mm -hmm. sucks milk. No, that milk has to be produced. Right. You know what I mean? And and there's a whole science behind that. There's only so much milk inside the breast at a time, then you have to wait, and then she had to start taking supplements to make right. more breast milk. Yeah. And then the the, the 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 fact that her body is working to make all of this supply means that she is being drained. Yeah. Um, um she is she's 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 tired, you know, so so she, she can get real cranky and then and then yes. her whole life, this especially being her first child, is totally out of balance. So so right. What, where I think we win is, is, and this is why I really appreciate it, I thank God for, for, for him bringing us together, she right. and I, right. because we have a respect for what we value, for what each other value. Right. I, I know that she values her, her career as, as a, a, a songstress, uh, as a vocalist, as, a, as an artist. Right. Um, she, she in turn values what I do and, and what I want to commit my, my focus to, right. my purpose, what I feel my purpose is. Right. So, so we, we share, mm -hmm. you know, we, we share in, in, uh, in, in all aspects of it. You know, right. when I, when I can, when the baby allows, mm -hmm. I will use the breast milk, put it in a bottle, I bottle the while she goes and does her thing. Right. Um, um, I will 
would have no problem when she says, Mom, I'm running out of time and I'm going to do it, but I got to let me right. do it. I can sit back, I can lay back. So, right. so we will both sacrifice mm -hmm. um, right. um, and, and pr prioritize as a family. Right. You know what I mean? And and that's um, that's what I think that's what keeping our marriage together right <laughs> now, you know, is, is that level yeah. of, of respect. Because it's, it's not, no one can fool you into thinking that parenthood is easy. No. It's <laughs> nope. You know, okay. especially and, and you know our baby came two months early. Right. So so every day it was two trips to the NICU to, mm -hmm. to the hospital to visit the baby. Every day. And you know this hospital you gotta find parking and you gotta you gotta you, you know she had a, a cesarean so you had to drop drop her to the gate and then right. I had to go circle around and find this right. and find that and then she's towed in the bag and she's I carrying this and I need to, to bring that and then you, you put mm -hmm. your, your milk in the cooler it's a, it's a lot and then it's you go home much. to to regular life you know yeah. what I mean so it's, 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 it's a lot yeah yeah you have to be able to to be compassionate towards mm -hmm. one another mm -hmm. um, um, me to her and also her to me mm -hmm. because you, you, as a father um, and as a man, you can't just say, oh, you're a man, you can handle it. No. Pressure is pressure. Work is work. Fatigue is fatigue. I don't care what sex you are. You know what I mean? So, so you, once you, you, you have that, um, that understanding and that awareness, um, you, you're able to give people relief, allow them time to rejuvenate. And that's yep. what we do for one another. Right. We allow yep. each other time to work. We allow we, uh, one, uh, each other time to, to rest, to rejuvenate, you know, to breathe. Did you did do you have any do you have any examples to like show you how to do this this whole this whole father thing? How do you figure it out? I mean I I did have examples. I mean my dad is a great, great father. Um, um, and I can still remember spending time with him as a young child and some of the things he taught me is um, I learned music first from him. Right. Um, um he was uh, he's one of the most prestigious members remember to this day even though he has been out of the uh, the Royal Bahamas Police uh, band for at least 30 plus years mm -hmm. the people still remember him to this day and and, and his legacy um, gains me access mm -hmm. to this very day people of the officers who come up to me who are high high-ranking officers be like well, I remember your daddy. Well, he was sharp. He was the sharpest one ever. You know? So, <laughs> so, so, um, yeah. I definitely have a great example in my father, and he's still a great, great dad. Um, but even beyond that, I feel as though you, when you open up your your heart to to experience your child, just in holding them, oh yeah, and and looking into their eyes, yeah. you feel a level of love. Mm -hmm that would give you the power to stop a train if it challenged the space between you and that child. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? Oh. So I think I think beyond even having an example, um, having that 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 tie, that mm -hmm. soul connection oh, with your yeah. child yeah. Uh, um, um, uh, gives you every uh, piece of information and, uh, and knowledge that you need in order to make it happen as a great dad. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean preaching against son. Huh? <laughs> yeah, that's so important. Let me put it in this Guess what? You are, you're absolutely right. And, you know, I told some other, other day, I said, listen, when you have a child, you never know how much love you have to give yeah. till you have children. You never know. You, 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 you were thinking, yes, apply right No, no, but yes, yes, apply like, huh? Or at least. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but you absolutely, you absolutely, absolutely, you're absolutely right with that. All right, so, can you can you uh, can you can you uh, give uh, can you can you give all of the fathers who are listening right now can you can you give them at least three um, nuggets uh, for for you know persons who are balancing uh, parenthood and uh, for 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 uh, so in their their dreams and, and their goals? Yeah, I mean, the first thing that comes to mind is is to show up for your child. You know. Um, you, you you won't always have right. the ideal circumstances, right. you know, but still show up yeah. because e even though they might might not be you might not be able to buy a birthday gift. Mm -hmm. Time spent is something that a child will remember way more mm -hmm. than 
having the, the newest toy or the newest video game. I right. learned that. Right. Um, um, commit to to doing your best. Mm-hmm. You know, commit to doing your best. Um, and I think the third thing would be the relationship between you and your child has absolutely nothing, nothing to do with your relationship and anybody else. Right. You have a relationship with your with your child. Right. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. The, the way your child sees you is going to be based on that child's experience with you. you. Right. Not not when anyone tell them. Not not not. Uh, it's really their experience. What they see. What what they hear. What they experience. Right. And, and, and know that and try to to uh, build on that fact as a father. Right. I think that's the three things that really comes to mind. I, I really love for all fathers to know. You you know situations. Right. Right. You just do the best you can. Do do your best. Can you, can you give Saw Nation some, uh, some 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 different places and different platforms that they that they can one uh, they can they can stay connected with you? Yeah, absolutely. And two, uh, you know, where they can find your music. Okay, Saw Nation. Pay very close attention. It's Dyson Knight. D Y S O N K N I G H T. Now I am on Instagram as Dyson Knight. I am on Facebook as Dyson the Artist. You can just search Dyson Knight there too, and definitely subscribe to the YouTube channel. That's Dyson Knight again. And if there's any place else that you exist in that you need me to exist in, I will walk in that too. <laughs> there, there you had it, Sonny. There you had it. Listen, and all of all of this information is gonna be in the show notes. So, so, uh, so for all of you, you'll be able to to uh, click the link below and click. And those who are listening on the podcast, you'll be able to uh, click uh, the, the link in the bio. Listen, Dyson, it was awesome having you a part of Saw Nation today. Listen, y'all, we just took flight with Mr. Dyson Knight himself. He he he's, uh, he dropped some value bombs with us today, and we we are definitely sorry of the clouds and so nation as i always say if you haven't heard these words before know that it's your time to soar